hello guys welcome to thick empress tarot how are you guys doing today i hope that all is well with you guys how are you guys doing today i am coming to you guys today to deliver a spiritual message guys i know it's been a while since i have delivered a message my job has been working me like crazy but i'm back i'm back i'm back all right, so today we're going to do a spiritual mess message, and we're going to start with the um, Angels and Ancestors uh, deck, but before we get started, I'm going to say a, a quick prayer over uh, our message, so that way we can um, start the message and move right along. Heavenly Father, I ask that you come into this reading, you God, Jesus, you, you, meaning God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, spirit guides of the light, light, I invite you guys into this message, give me clarity to help the collective understand what they need to understand and protect each and every one of us that is under the sound of my voice. Thank you, God, and I praise you, God. Uh, all right, let's get this message started, guys. So, uh, we're going to start off uh, with the spiritual messages that you guys need to hear at this moment. What spiritual messages do the collector need to hear from the angels and the ancestors? What spiritual messages do the collector need to hear from the angels and the ancestors? Collector need to hear from the ancestors and the angels. What spiritual messages do the collector need to hear from? Okay, ancestors and angels. All right, y'all. So it says, see from a higher perspective. So what I'm getting is that. Uh, I'm thinking that lately you guys have been looking at things from just like um, a, just a 3D view and not realizing that there's more Ds to this. It's not just, you know, 3D. It don't just stop at 3D. It is, it's higher. There's levels to this. And I'm thinking um, what God wants you guys to know is to stop looking at what it looks like because what it looks like is not is way better than what you think and see things from a higher perspective um look at it how god would want you to see it um those of you who believe in in god you know that when he thinks about us as his children he wants us to believe in the best to have the best to know the best he he wants the best for us but we as his children we have to learn to get our mind to think that way because if we don't think that way then it's not gonna happen we have to learn to think that way so i'm going to read what it says about uh the eagle and guys y'all know eagles usually soar eagles uh they they soar they excel at a lot of things they're never really on the ground they're never really um on the ground worrying about what's happening on this this ground they're up higher and handling business in the sky so it's time that you guys get a higher perspective on life just uh in general what's going on with everything because uh thinking having it just the 3d thinking um it's gonna keep you stuck and in a, a stagnation and you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that. You want to, while you're on this earth, you want to receive everything that God has for you. You want everything that he has for you. Because what he has for you is, is high levels to it. And so in order to achieve those high levels, you have to first start off with your thinking. Um, get your thinking together and then think on a higher perspective. I see I'm looking for eagle to yes guys this eagle this eagle is like it's it's scoring and as you can see we have the the 
evil eye to, to put for protection. So whatever journey you're on, who's ever listening to this, whatever journey that you're on, you're protected, but you just have to get your mind to think higher. It's like you're there, like every, as it seems like everything that you're wanting God to do is done, but it, it seems like it's your thinking that's hindering it from happening. So see things, stop thinking that you can't have it or you can't be it, you can't do it because you can. You just have to think like a winner. If you want to be a winner, you have to think like one. So it says, look at things from a different angle. Fly higher and see new possibilities. In animal medicine, the Native American and Celtic, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong, and courageous God who is able to see for miles. He approaches all things with intelligence, grace, and poise, and has the capacity to make a plane to make a plan, I'm sorry, from a higher space before putting it into action. So sometimes, guys, in order for us to maneuver through life, we have to take a step back and rest, relax ourselves, meditate, get ourselves together because if our body and our mind is tired, how are we going to think from a higher perspective? We can't. We can't, we can't, we're going to always think that everybody is against us. We're going to think that things not working out when in all actuality it is. So, if whoever's listening to this, if you need rest, if you need to relax, it's okay to do so. You don't always have to keep going, 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 going. It's, you're not the energizer battery. You can stop sometimes and breathe and woo and then get back to life. Because life is, is, is going to, you know, it's going to be there. And if it's not, hey, that's a higher perspective that you go into a higher uh, realm. So, but while you're here on this earth, you want to get all out of life what God has for you. And so it says, when the eagle card appears in the reading, it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher and move beyond the limitations of your ego and your selfish desires that ego and those selfish desires <sighs> y'all we can't let the ego get in the way y'all we can't let those selfish desires get in our way we have to bulldoze through them and think on a higher perspective we have to do we have to soar like an eagle alright and so uh, it says the extended message Eagle medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or vision may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? So, guys, sometimes we want something so bad until we can mess up mess up what it is that God has for us. We can want something so bad to where we think about it so much and we um, we don't give ourselves enough, you know, enough space to let it grow. We try to force things to happen, situations to happen, and what happens is it don't work. It's not going to work. God's not going to back it up. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not if we're doing it out of desperation. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. So be honest with yourself. Are you coming from a place of desperation? If you are, back back. It's yours. It's just don't force it. Give it time to grow or come to you, whatever the case may be. Think from a higher perspective. You don't, you don't ever have to be desperate for anything or anybody. Think from a higher perspective. What, what does God want for you? He don't want you to be desperate. You can have all things through him, but in the right way. All right, so it says, um, be blocking you from seeing your potential in the current situation. If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective, not just yours. <coughs> If you are feeling the need for something to change, 
How can you take the higher road? Ooh, ouch. Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Ego medicine can help you change this. The ego brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of the Father's eye and invites you to do all things in a place of love. So, we know that love, it covers a multitude of sin. We know that love conquers all. We know that love is just everything. We need love. Before you go on your journey, make sure you get in tune with your love, with love, so that when it's guiding you and helping you, uh, you know that you're going in the right direction. Because when we do things out of love, it brings us better gifts. And you can tell when somebody is doing something out of love or when they're doing it out of desperation. Um, it shows, it shows, and you know. Um, and you don't wanna be that person that goes around someone and basically begging for them to hire you. I'm just using it as an example. Versus doing whatever it is that you need to do for the job and going there and like, okay, I'm coming, you know, not out of desperation. I'm coming clean, just out of love, a purity. And then, you know, you get hired. Because when you come out of a, a, a unloving, desperate place, you usually get bad things. You get things that's, that's not worthy, to be honest. And if it is worthy to the person, deep down inside, you know the way that you got it wasn't. Uh, loving or just so you want to come out of a place of love so that way it can be worth it it can be worth it and even if it's a relationship you don't want to constantly try to force somebody to see that you are coming like you're I'm lovable I'm telling you I'm lovable uh, they, they're they gonna be like ah, no you sounding desperate like no no so you want your love to just come through and when it does and this is for relationship purposes it's, it's gonna show you want it to just exude without you pushing it on people okay so um it was at the bottom of the day the hermit it says Recheat, recheat, recheat. No, don't recheat. Please don't cheat. Whether it's a test, a job, a relationship, don't cheat. Retreat and recharge. So, backs up what we were just uh, discussing. Retreat and recharge. Whatever retreat means to you, do it. That way your body, your mind, your spirit, emotions, all of that can recharge. So now what I'm going to do is get uh, the right away deck and clarify the um, ancestor and angel um, message from the eagle. All right. All right, so, y'all, I'm just moving <laughs> this camera everywhere. All right, so when it comes to the eagle, see from a higher perspective, what spiritual message do you have for the collective? I see the nine of uh, swords that, uh, some of you guys are stressing a lot. Like some of you guys are having nightmares about uh, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Like you, you really just worried about it. And you're having anxiety, anxiety, and being hopeless. 
stop worrying about it. It's done. It's done. Just back up. Sometimes you got to give things its, its space. Like when an eagle is teaching its little one to fly it drops the babies it gives the baby like give the baby space to learn how to fly sometimes in life you have to do that you have to just leave stuff to see what's gonna happen and then if you know that you have planted the right seed you know that you've done everything the way that it was supposed to be done guess what it's gonna work out it's gonna work out you just have to have faith in yourself okay so give me something on seeing things from a higher perspective <laughs> some of y'all feel betrayed y'all feel like I have done everything and I, I just I, I cannot go no more but you have to know that you're at the end of this you're at the end of this and soon you can get up from the ground and store y'all some of y'all y'all just feel like it could be up to 10 people that have done y'all like have done y'all something and this could be a job something maybe like a boss that y'all had maybe um did some of you all something like betrayed you guys and y'all just is whatever the situation is whether it's a job it's a husband um see things from a from a higher perspective see um sometimes things are even if it if it seems like it's not gonna work out sometimes it, it's supposed to be that way and delay does not mean deny just because you delayed with something, that doesn't mean that it's a full denial. It just means that whatever God has for you is going to be better. But the thing with some of y'all is not seeing when the Ten of Swords come up, this was something that had to happen. And it's over now. It's over. You're at the Ten. It's over. Now you just have to get up and recover and see things from a higher perspective um let's see i'm going to clarify let's take of scores oh life this was a, a job situation you had somebody that wanted to win at all costs. Somebody who was very manipulative, was planning and plotting. Yeah, this was something that you thought was a, a sure thing and come to find out it was not. And whoever this person is, he blew it up. And I'm saying he because I see a masculine energy out here. They blew it up. They blew it up. It was not... Um, Whatever this was, was not built on a solid foundation. It wasn't going to work. It wasn't going to work. This had to happen so that you could start seeing things from a higher perspective. Let's see who this King of Pentacles is. Law, because he seemed like he trifling whoever he is. Let's see. He did, oh. Yeah, this, uh, this is, what I'm getting from this, somebody got fired. Somebody got fired and it's taking this not so well. Um, this King of Pentacles, this is a person who fought tooth and nail to get somebody fired and or 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 if this is a relationship it's not i'm not really getting relationship from it but if it is a relationship they whoever this uh king of pentacles person is 
far tooth and nail to release something, to have something to end. Um, this person could have done uh, magic on this situation to betray somebody, but they did. And then the, the thing of it is, whoever this king of pentacles is, he got other people involved in the situation. And he had other people believing that what he was saying was truth. That what he was saying was truth. And they were undecided as to what to do, but they followed him. They followed him thinking that what he, because he, 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 to them he was a trustworthy person. They followed him and only to be thrown out the building. So this king of pentacles uh, started a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff only because he was, um, he was bitter and going through some stuff. So he basically manifested for an ending. Let me see. Let me clarify. Yeah. Gossiping, spying. Childish. He was childish. Very childish. Let's see. Four swords. Messy, like I said. Caused a lot of confusion, a lot of chaos. Uh, but what he caused, a lot of what he did, a lot of what he did, it won't hold. Whatever this uh, masculine energy did, it won't hold because of balance is, is going to come to this situation. He, he caused, well, he tried to cause an unbalance. That was what he was wishing what would happen, but he's gonna get exposed. He will definitely get exposed. He's gonna get exposed for what he did. Oh. He will get exposed. Oh yes. So all the things that he plotted and planned and he waiting on, on opportunities to come, he's not getting that. He's not getting it. He's not getting it. It's not going to happen for him. So everything that he did, he basically did it in vain, but he did cause a lot of pain. He did cause a lot of pain. And throughout this, God is still asking you, whoever this uh, message resonates with to see things from a higher perspective so what i'm gonna do is um let's see i'm going to use yeah i i forgot the name of this deck yes yeah, so he's gonna this this man is going to be exposed this uh masculine energy is going to be exposed um yeah he's gonna uh, an ending is coming for him for doing that an ending is coming for him again y'all i don't really see love out here this seems like this is a job situation um, some type of opportunity that was lost because of some jealous masculine. All right. So let's see. All right. Give me more on this 10. I don't know why I want to say Ten of Pentacles, but maybe that's what's coming to you, the Ten of Pentacles. You're going to go from the Ten of, uh, ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles if you see things from a higher perspective. Give me some on the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. I know, I forgot the name. Angel. I forgot the name of the cards, but... Okay. So y'all bear with me uh, with the pronunciation of these uh, angel names. 
So we have Damabaya and Mebahel. So it says, um, so yeah, you're going to come out of this. You're going to come out of this Ten of Swords energy, this, this betrayal. You're going to um, stop looking at it as a betrayal and look at it as something that had to happen to bring you to a better place. So uh, you got this, this. The cycle is is over. It's over, and better things are coming. You just have to get out of your head. You just have to get out out of your head. And so when we have um, Damabaya, this is the the God source of wisdom, and it says Fountain of Wisdom gives success in all ventures. So don't worry about it. You're gonna be all right. It seems like this situation was supposed to tear you down is not it was only to make you better and to start seeing things from a higher perspective and knowing that god is with you through everything so you don't have to worry um also it says um Mebahel is the god protector and savior this uh this angel helps with truth and justice protection from enemies who would steal one's fortune Look at him. Look how he doing that. Uh, I'm going to say that king of pentacles who tried to steal from you. Mebahel is like, no, I am not playing with you. Let's see. So let's uh, get some messages about this king of pentacles. Yeah, so just continue to. Some of y'all might have to go back to school or take up a trade or something like that but continue working hard uh this is the eight of pentacles continue working hard and don't let this detour you from whatever it is that you was wanting to work on continue to work hard because you're gonna um you're gonna reap great rewards and benefits if you do so let's see king of pentacles Oh, so guess what? Them ten of swords that he sent, sent to you is coming to him. It's coming to him. By Luia. Luia. And then we have Rehahel. Rehahel. Y'all, these names, look at them. So, okay. So Rehahel... Uh, this is uh, he's gonna he's gonna feel that same betray that he sent to you and heartbreak, grief, loss, all of that. That King of Pentacles is going to receive it. Rehael is the quickly forgiving God. This God, I mean this God. I'm sorry. This angel brings love and submission, cures illnesses, uh, influence paternal love, and gives long life. If this was a, a dad that did this to a kid, if it was a, a paternity uh, issue, this dad is going to show love to where he once did not show love. He's going to realize that he hurt that kid and he's going to start to show love to that kid. And even with the kid, the kid might be mad at him at this time. Uh, for those of you who have this situation going on to where it's a, a father figure who has basically denied, betrayed, and did all kinds of stuff to the child. Um, he's going he's gonna to pay for that. And he needs to start off by apologizing to this child sincerely. Um, because it's not gonna it's not gonna be good for him. But the same heartache and heartbreak that he caused that child, that father, that that dad, we don't have one father. That dad is going to receive that same heartbreak, that same heartbreak that that he gave to that child. Um, and again, if this is a boss situation where this is your uh, supervisor or whomever or any male figure. Uh, masculine I'm sorry in your life that has done something to betray you it's coming back to them 
Um, and then with the Ten of Swords, like I said, the same Ten of Swords that this King of Pentacles sent to you collected is the same Ten of Pentacles that God and the angels and the ancestors, they sending it back to him. So this is Louis Ah is the marvelous God. This, uh, I keep wanting to say God, but this angel shows revelation, protects from sadness, and give revelations in dreams. So, this King of Pentacles, I th probably thought it was all tiki key fun when he was doing it. He just didn't know who he was messing with. And so now what's happening is God is hearkening on his angels to come to help you guys. And these angels are not playing. As you can tell, Mebahel I remember Hill then took the head off. Not playing. Not playing. So, with that being said, yeah, this 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 King of Pentacles is going to learn a lesson from this. This King of Pentacles is going to learn to not to cause people because the thing of it is the heartbreak that he caused was something that he didn't have to do he just did it just because it was in him what is about to come out of it god is about to get in about of it and so god is wanting you because you're his child to see things from a higher perspective this king of pentacles could have had a rough childhood uh could have always been betrayed himself and maybe that's why when he come, came to the kid, he probably didn't have a dad himself. So he, he treated the child bad. So now he's gonna, God is gonna teach him to love. Love, it says to love and submit. It says, and it says paternal love. So even, you know, because sometimes people be in high positions uh if, if, if it's not an actual dad and some people be in the higher positions and even though you're in that position sometimes people need you to be that um i don't want to say paternal figure but just the authoritative uh disciplinary like a like a dad and sometimes some people take that and they use it in the wrong way. And now instead of helping the person or helping their kids, they will hurt them. And so in this situation, what happened is this King of Pentacles hurt this, uh, this, this person hurt you collected or hurt your child. And what's happening now is that the angels are coming to show this person that that's not cool to do something like that. And so sometimes in order for people to learn from what they've done, they have to feel what they've put other people through. That's karma. That's karma. So uh, this this King of Pentacles gonna learn some lessons. He gonna learn some lessons because he knew what he was doing. He planned this. He waited for to see what the results were going to be. But when he realized that the results is not going to be what he thought they were going to be, that's when, guess what? He's going he's gonna to start to learn his lesson. He's going to start to learn his lesson. All right, so. Let's see. more angel messages. All right. Yeah, see? Whoever this is, I'm feeling the sadness from you. I can feel the sadness from you. It's like you just, you, you can't believe this. Like, why would somebody do this to me? But 
don't worry about it because guess what this is a blessing in disguise this is a blessing in disguise count it all joy it said what appears to be a problem is actually a part of your answer prayer you'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way so I hope this makes you feel better, but this is something that you prayed for. <laughs> you didn't pray for the uh, destruction and all it is, but in order to get to what you prayed for, you had to go through this. I hope that helps. I hope that helps. Uh, but it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it because forgive move forward because you're you're moving forward to great things to great things let's see let's see so now we're going to see what jesus has to say about everything what advice do you have for the collective jesus what advice do you have for the collective <laughs> It says, be of good comfort. Your faith has made you whole. Aww. So whoever this is, like my heart is melting uh, for you, whoever this uh, happened to, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. Uh, just keep the faith. Keep you good cheer because uh, whoever this is, you seem like a happy-go-lucky person that not much really gets to you. Like you seem like you just help everybody, and this person was jealous of that. And so what they did, oh, I can feel you, you, I can feel you, I can feel you. Um, what they did was they uh, came after you because of that. That's why this person did that. Even if you somebody who have a child with this person, um, they came after you because of that. And so uh, sometimes people don't understand people who are happy with themselves and happy with life. And so what they do is they want to bring tower moments to your life and uh, bring destruction and, and make you feel angry, upset, bitter. But... Um, you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay and so that's what this person did that that was their plan to upset you but you're 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 gonna overcome it because you're gonna see things from a higher perspective and you're gonna be of good comfort and like jesus said your fate has made you whole so move on and step into all the blessings that god has for you and with that being said be blessed and have a great day. Bye-bye.